Hey hello there and welcome back to my creator. Today I am playing around with things you shouldn't do in Fusion. Uh, sound foam, uh, which is a nice wavy foam. Uh, this is half of it. If you do, can do both parts and put them together, you want. it's really hard to 3D print foam anyway, but this is mostly for the fun of it. This is, I don't know, it might be useful for someone. Yeah, feel free, free to use it. And based on basically the same sketches, I also made a small mesh here. Wire mesh or pipe mesh. Uh, uh, Fusion doesn't really like me doing this because if you rectangular patterns going up of the board, Fusion gets a bit mad. And for the fun of it, of course, also if we look from here, I have some people commenting. Uh, yeah, we have trigonometry, we have a sine wave. Uh, so we're going to use math or not, because I prefer letting Fusion do all the math. So, these are two things we're going to do. We're going to start by doing the foam, and we're going to back up to the first sketches and do the mesh. So, let's start a new design. And to make things simple, I'm going to use uh, parameters, because I will reuse some of them. So, we start with wave. Uh, PP. Peak to peak, we're going to be 25 millimeters to start off. This is the amplitude or peak to peak of the wave we're going to do. And we're going to do a wave uh, length. Let's make it 80 millimeters to start off. That's all the primers we need. And now we're going to start by doing the sine wave. We're going to create a coil. Uh, make sure I have top here so I can put it on this plane here. So we're going to put a coil on a plane that's perpendicular to the ground on which I want to do the foam or a mesh. You can turn around later, of course. Do that. Pick. Uh, let's turn the cube right. Uh, center point. And the size we're going to do is the PP. Way PP. And uh, let's put it there. And now to make sure I don't, I don't know, it, it puts in the numbers here, I don't know if it works, but I like to by hand put in the parameters again. That's going to be our PP length, and that's going to be our length parameter. Sorry, oh no, 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 let's get back to that. I'm not done with you yet. So we're going to do diameter is the point to point or the amplitude. The length or the height of it is going to be the wavelength, and we need one revolution, not more than that. I use triangular external, so I get a nice triangular peak pointing out here somewhere. That's a triangle. We have a nice peak we can pick up later to use. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, easier to see. And uh, section positions of inside, so you get the, yeah, that's the way I prefer to do it. You can do it outside, pointing in and anything you want. And of course, new body. Okay, thank you. Uh, now we're going to need two waves, so we are going to create a mirror of, make sure, pattern type bodies. The mirror plane is going to be our origin plane here, so we get the inversion of the coil. So by doing that, we're going to do our first sketch on this plane. We're going to project, and we're going to now turn around our coil, so we are looking at the edge we are interested in. And that is that edge and that edge. By doing that, we have now projected in our little waves. We're going to turn off the bodies. Now we have two little beautiful sound waves. And we're going to make one of them a construction line because we're going to use one here and we're going to use that in, in a couple of seconds. So now we have here, uh, so the dimensions we're using is that the wavelength is one complete wave, one peak, one valley, and the PP value or the amplitude is from peak to peak. So it's 25 millimeters here and 80 millimeters here. Now we're going to do construction offset plane. We're going to take, we need to do a second curve. We're going to take this here. We're going to move it backwards, and the distance we need to move it is the wavelength but not the full, because we're going to do half of it, so we divide it by two. Wavelength divided by two. And now we're going to project on this new plane, and the thing we're going to project is the line, which is a construction line in the earlier sketch, and that's all we need. And by doing that, we now have two inverted waves, one here and one here. We are heading over to, we're going to finish sketch, and we head over to surfaces, extrude. 
let's start with this one make sure we extrude it outwards so let's do that 10 millimeters we can extrude the other way over here extrude and we need to go this way so it's minus or minus 10 millimeters and after we're done this now we're going to do loft but to make sure so we can choose our the beautiful bodies we are come on Oh, sometimes fusion is annoying. I'm turning off the sketches. Make sure to turn off the sketches. There we are. Let's turn them correctly like that. Uh, no sketches on, just the bodies on. And we're going to create a loft from... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Not like that. Turn off chain selection. We only want this edge here and this edge here. Now let's lose a bit rough and dirty so we're going to change the connection here from connected to tangent and tangent and okay with that we're going to turn off these two so now we have one body here and now to do a bit of a cleanup I'm going to choose these four bodies and right click and remove so in this direction we have one full wavelength the problem is this direction we only have half so we're going to do a mirror Make sure pattern type is bodies. This here, mirror plane. And nicely enough, as we started from a region point, we have a nice plane here to use as a mirror. And just to make things easy, I'm gonna stitch these together already here now. So, now we have one section here with one complete wavelength here, one complete with the wavelength on this direction. So we are gonna use rectangular patterns to expand these beautiful little things. Uh, pattern type bodies, yes please. The direction is going to be the two axes we have here, that direction and that direction. Make sure distance type is spacing and the distance of course is our wavelength. Wavelength and other one. Wavelength. Hello, come on wavelength and eh, let's add some more do not go over top here because you will crash fusion let's do five in this direction see what fusion says about that uh, not too bad and now we stitch them all together choose all of them stitch together to one body and we can turn off the lines to look at a bit better so now we have a surface and there's some different ways to get this to solid. This is just what I prefer to do. Turn on edges. I go back to solid. Create a new sketch. Create on this plane. Now we create the shape I want the foam to be on. We can do a spline. I haven't done that. Normally do a square or a circle. Let's see if this works. This might crash. We are just going to do a slightly interesting shape like that and uh, let's make it even more interesting by turning it a bit inwards maybe uh, can we choose some more points I'm gonna turn off that body that annoys me uh, let's do here let's do something like that and we're not outside the body that's good finish and we're gonna extrude a little profile let's do it symmetrical I need to go through the the surface body I have done here so let's do it like 50 millimeters and it protrudes nicely through everything it okay turn off the sketch we don't see it anymore and now we're going to modify split body the body we want to split is our solid the tool of course is our surface and let's see what fusion says about that it didn't die so we're going to turn off that and turn off the top body and let's also like like what to do I'm gonna use these two so let's remove them and wait for fusion to think so now we have an interesting little shape here we can put some uh, appearance on I like to use carbon fiber if I want to do some strange surface it's easy to see with the carbon fiber what's going on if I don't highlight anything so here you can see we have a nice sine wave shape and now for some reason oh I don't want it that bumpy let's go and change our parameters let's switch it down to 15 
let's just do all the calculation and it didn't crash and we have a nicer shape and of course if we want the same amplitude as the length we should be able to do that 40 millimeters that creates a uh, yeah that sometimes happens that uh, I get outside we can turn around and have a look at this side when we get a really bumpy pattern so that you can play around as much as you want to it and do some nice foamy things we're gonna back to home view so what we're gonna do now we're gonna back up everything and forget about the foam and getting over to do the mesh so I would remove everything back to where we did our first extrude delete and we are back here with our two bodies and our two first sketches and of course now we have an appearance let's remove that uh, appearance on the sign of delete and turn on our edges so we are back here so let's start by removing these bodies again they are in the way goodbye and now we have a nice little sketch here I need one more sketch now I'm gonna create it now I'm gonna create it so looking straight down here creating this plane we're gonna do a line from here to here back to here and up here so create a small profile and I'm gonna make a point there's a different ways to do this I want to get a point in the center of everything here and then I'm going to construct uh, axles, axis perpendicular to face at point. This face and that point. So I get an axle there. Thank you. Now I can turn off that sketch again. We're going to use that axle for a bit of a move and copy a bit later. So I'm going to change any parameter. We're going to add one parameter. That's a good thing to do. Change parameters. We're going to add one more uh, wire or pipe wire size let's start with five millimeters so we're gonna do a pipe let's see if we can do this and the size uh, wire size like that we're gonna create another pipe on this one again wire size like that. So we created two of them. Oh, it's very high now. We're going to chase that later. And now we're going to do a small move command. I don't normally use move commands. You can also do a rectangular, circular pattern, I mean, to rotate this around. Uh, bodies, yes, please. This body and this body. We're going to tap create a, a copy. Make sure we have chosen rotate here. And now we can pick our axis. And that's the axis we just created this and we're going to turn it around 90 degrees like that and now we have a wire mesh but it's just, yeah the amplitude is totally off so good let's go change those parameters change parameters we're going to change the amplitude to something like 10 millimeters or even eight and going to add a bit of more size on that how does that look look we have created a small mesh here we can play around with numbers of course and as earlier I'm gonna turn off that axles I'm gonna turn off the sketches uh, now we're gonna do rectangular patterns again uh, bodies of course the four bodies here direction once again this direction and here distance again is wavelength and the distance here Again, distance type is spacing, uh, wave length, and let's add. This is where fusion can be a bit boring. Of course, you can untap pass if you don't. You want to make holes in your. You maybe want to make a mesh, uh, something like this. You just play around. And okay, and now we're gonna do a combine of all of these bodies but it will not work because they are not all connected if you want to connect up uh, sometimes a noise fusion let's see if you can handle it didn't like what I did let's do that again come on combine there are too many bodies I don't like that that body 
can't but is it that oh it chose the wrong sorry let's go back and change that that one we're going to do a join command now it gets to work this reduces the amount of bodies I had the wrong operation sorry about that uh, there's still a lot of them uh, if you want to connect everything you can do a frame around everything and connect it together but now we have a mesh and of course we can put some appearance on it like a chrome to get it nice and shiny and turn off the edges like that hide that and by doing that we have created a small wire mesh so fusions is not really built to do things like this but you can do it and I hope this can be useful or fun if you want to do something so I hope some of you can use it take care and see you around